insensitivity training for a politically correct world. We are the Woody Show. Woody, Ravy, Greg, yes. Menace, Seabass, and there's Sammy. Good morning. We've got uh, Bort and Caroline. Morgan's here. Vaughn's here. Phones are open at 877 44 Woody. That's 877 44 Woody. You can uh, hit us up with a text over to 22987. Yeah, once uh, we get to the new year, we're going to have to have uh, the Notre Dumbass predictions. Oh, yes. And maybe that's something uh-huh. we can do. Do you still have your list for this year? Yeah, I got to find it. Yeah, you got to find it. We, we got to do that before we wrap up the year. Revisit. Yeah, because yeah. somebody was tagging me in something, and they were listening to the podcast when I announced it, and they were yeah. talking about how I was right on a few things. So. Okay, well, I'd like to see. Yeah. Oh, I found it. Oh, you oh, have you it? Because I have it. Okay, so we'll, we'll do it before the year wraps up. We'll see. Because okay. uh, Menace makes predictions, as yeah. he calls them, um, at the beginning of each year. So yeah. I'll have to have his for 2024, but we'll have to go back and see how I did for 2023. All right. But uh, the dating app Bumble, they have released some of their dating predictions for 2024. Uh, they say it's going to be a year for cross-generational relationships. 63% of their users say that age is not important when it comes to dating. And it's uh, not just the dudes who are saying that. Uh, 59% of horny chicks ah. say that they're more open to dating somebody younger than they are. Okay. And more women than ever say they've become less judgmental toward the age gap relationships over the, la- over the last year. All right. Um, yeah. Is that, uh, is that like a thing with uh, – because with, I always thought that women didn't want to date guys who were younger than them. Just because of our immaturity, but I guess you get to a certain age where right. it matters less. So like when you're in your th- when you're like say when you're thirties, you don't want to date somebody like significantly younger, right? Right. Because right. you know they're still frat boyish. True. And you they're know. selling meth on the corner and getting stabbed, and you have oh. to pick them up at the hospital. It sounds like you say that from experience. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Uh, some of the other dating predictions for 2024: dating based on values which includes politics yeah. and social causes, uh, things like that. Okay. Uh, appreciating partners for who they are as opposed to looking for people who are bettering themselves. What does that mean? Yeah. Wait, read that Say again? Say that again? It says appreciating partners for who they are as opposed to looking for people who are bettering themselves. Oh, okay. Oh, so if you have so. faults or, or flaws, instead of trying to improve them, you're just, just fine with who accepted. you are. Just being. Oh, just, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just make a fad. I'm just going to accept it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stop looking for the potential and look at what is. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. And to focus on dating someone who is in tune with their mental health, like going to therapy and prioritizing people who value self-care. I like because it. Because <gasps> therapy's hot. <laughs> therapy's very in. Yeah. Therapy's super hot. And talking about it. So those are like, uh, oh, my God. Yeah. Why are you poo-pooing it? <laughs> I'm just saying because we were having that list about uh, what millennials made cool. And, it, like, what they made cool is, like, constantly talking about Well, yeah, it's like that's, you know, it's just like, ah. Oh. Yeah. It's <laughs> well, can we talk about, like, what's you, going, yeah, what's good in your life? Yeah, not, not that like, it, yeah, not, not that it, uh, it can't be brought up, but like some people, that's their own. Yeah. Have the people, one dimensional people. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, their sports, whole feed is, politics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There are some people where that is every, that's all they talk about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's old. Yeah. It just becomes a little much. Uh, now, some people might be wondering how Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne have stood the test of time, you guys. I have been wondering. I always wonder that. Both of them are crazy people. Yes. Uh, but Sharon says one of the reasons that she let Ozzy do whatever he wanted with groupies back in the day. Oh. oh, and he's mega famous. She says, uh, quote, <laughs> right. she doesn't care. That's what comes along with being famous. It was always there, especially if someone is insecure or a narcissist that wants it all as Ozzy does. All she told him was wear a condom and never ask for names or addresses. You don't want to know. And when it gets to something more personal than that. Then it's a problem. And then I'm not going to turn a blind eye. That okay. reminds me of that person you know who he yes. and his wife have this open relationship which by the way they're now divorced oh no i know but they were allowed to hook up with anybody once one time. any more than that they had to know yeah so like uh, yeah that was the rule no repeat business right so if it was going to be a repeater then you would have to go to your partner and say hey uh i hooked up with this person once before uh you know we're thinking about hooking up again are you okay with that and they might say yes right why'd they get divorced I mean, who knows? I, it I, I sounded really, like this was working for maybe them. Maybe something got attached. Yeah. What's to what's yeah. to get oh, in the maybe. way? Yeah, maybe they had a 
like a, a girlfriend instead of just a yeah. hookup. Yeah. They fell in love. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Sharon did turn a blind eye until 2016. That's when she found out that Ozzy was slamming with his hairstylist. Oh, yeah. yeah I remember that. Turned out he had six other chicks on the side. Whoa. Now that, that is recently? That is 2016 Ozzy. <laughs> Still. <laughs> what? Who would what? be? Yeah, <laughs> six other that? chicks are yeah. out there. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. They watched <laughs> the Osbournes and thought, yep. yep, yeah. But the Osbournes was even that. sixteen years before that. Right. That's what I'm saying. He was already yeah out of it. So fast forward sixteen years. I wouldn't have thought his wiener was working then. <laughs> exactly, dude. Right. You say that, but we know somebody who was talking to us about Robert Smith today. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, the oh, cure. True. Yeah. And it's hot Doable. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dudes. Yeah. So this was a conversation about like who would your, it's that stupid conversation that people have about your like laminated your, list. Your yeah. celebrity your, hookup. Your celebrity. Mm-hmm. Like, the, like if you had the chance, Based one only celebrity on like that, you know, it would, it would like, you'd have to uh, forgive your partner because that's their, that's their one hall that's pass kind one. of person. Hall pass person. Yeah. And this person <laughs> said Robert Smith. <laughs> and I said, okay. Cause I know she's a big your fan right but i'm like okay but back in the day robert smith, robert smith yeah. today nope. she goes yeah yeah i mean but i said uh, today today <laughs> right like, now type in robert smith cure 2023 <laughs> and look at the picture that comes up looks like a cadaver <laughs> he does you know what i mean like seriously it looks so, like looks like uh you know like uh, someone who it looks like died. a tim burton character who has yes. died and has been reanimated. Looks like someone who has died and then found weeks later. And yet somehow in death gained weight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now right. if I'm picking between right. Ozzy and Robert, I'm doing Ozzy all day. Really? Yeah. Current I would day? do Ooh. Robert over Ozzy. I would do I would, yeah I would really I would Easy. have mad sex with Robert. <laughs> no Easy. way. If that was my choice Easy. what? Corpse Robert A Smith or Corpse B, I'm taking Ozzy? Smith. Yeah. Really? Absolutely. No, dude, well, Ozzy still got the butt. Number Biotti. one, no. I would want to spend time with Robert Smith. Yeah, but that's you not what we're talking wanna, about. No, we're talking about Ozzy hookup. We're at talking all. purely sexual. No talking. Yeah. Oh, no talking. It's at just all. a hookup. Yeah, yeah. Ozzy I'd still or Robert. Pick Robert Smith. You would. Yeah. Okay. What if they could each leave their shirt on? <laughs> I'm still picking Robert. Smith. You still would. There's no scenario where I would pick Ozzy. Really? There what? isn't. Over Robert Smith today. <laughs> yes. You're on crack. That, that sounds crazy. <laughs> there is no scenario you could present. That sounds insane. Well, well, same people are texting me right now and saying Ozzy all day. What are you, the same question to you. Who would you have mad sex with? <laughs> Ozzy. Over Ozzie, Robert Smith? Yes. Okay, well, based on that photo, that Seabass There's a photo I'm showing Greg of Ozzy just like on a walk on yeah, the sidewalk. Yeah, there's no way Ozzy uh, can have sex anymore. He is of normal body composition. He is. Yeah. He looks like he's a deranged... Okay. Uh, housewife. Ozzy. <laughs> okay, here's the rules for hooking up with Ozzy. Okay. <laughs> Ozzy has to have the sunglasses on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that. Like, he has to be. A little bit. Like, it ha- other than his pants would be off, right. he would have to look otherwise like he's ready to go on stage. You know what I mean? And that's the okay. same for yeah. Robert Smith. That's for, you know, to make it all equal. <laughs> oh, you've seen Robert Smith on right, stage? With his lipstick. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So, it, like, you know, not where they just roll, each one of them rolled out of bed. Anybody can look. <laughs> certain way that way, but that's how Robert Smith shows up yeah. on stage. I'm doing Ozzy all day. Looks like Beetlejuice, exactly. Someone in the text, he looks like Beetlejuice. Exactly right. I, hmm. He is scary. Yeah. I, they both look like Beetlejuice. I mean, they both are not looking good. No. <laughs> by any means. They both look terrible. I might have to change my vote. Right. <laughs> I'm sticking with Smith. Ready to know. go on stage, other than having pants on. Which one are you going with, Greg? <laughs> uh, Ozzy. Or Robert Smith. You know what? <laughs> I think I might change to Ozzy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now that Finally, I'm... you've seen the uh, light. But And Woody, you said Ozzy? Yeah, of course. Menace seems like he's desperate to right. Ozzy. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just so mind-blowing that you would think Robert yeah. Smith. Okay. Well, oh, I see him. It's my fandom of The Cure that's getting in yeah. the way. Yeah, see, Different. You're no. not talking. He's not playing a private I, concert I'm for you. I'm 100% yeah. getting... But emotions just, are a tricky thing. Now, Robert Smith, ready to go on stage, has bright red lips, lipstick and right. like yeah. a lot of makeup. Clown yeah. eyeshadow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he could put that all over me before I would get with Ozzy. Oh, all right. Text your vote over to 22987. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, girls, everybody. That's you your going? only choice. <laughs> Ozzy or Robert yeah. Smith. All right. While you're doing that. But you guys are clearly just desperate to I bang. know. Menace yeah. especially. I know. So Menace horny. is so thirsty. No, I'm just, Menace so, just dumb I'm just thirst. so shocked wow. that it's even 
like uh, a uh, arguments. Yeah, Sammy. Who Definitely Ozzy. Yeah. Ozzy all day. Yeah. Thank you. See, look, the cheese stands Sam. alone, and I'm fine with it. Again, text over to two two nine eight seven. We're talking the 2023 versions of both people, Robert <laughs> Smith of The Cure or Ozzy Osbourne. This is a question for everybody. Everybody must reply. <laughs> Guys, girls. <laughs> Exactly. Over to two two ninety seven. You got to bang one of them. We got to bring this back someday. And you got to look them in the eye. Who'd you rather bang? You can't do it with your eyes closed. You got to look them in the eye. Well, but you said sunglasses. Doesn't matter. You're still looking at, like where their eyes are. Okay. You got to look at their face. Looking where their yeah. eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look them in the face. Uh, text your answer over to two two nine eight seven. The Woody Show will be right back.